for him. Outside for Pippen. Pass to McGrady. Going inside, and he takes that one up and powers it through. Doing it with style, McGrady punishing the D for giving him that kind of airspace. In the 2016 and 17 drafts, GA Boston ended up with the third pick overall both of those years. And they nailed those picks, getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum back to back, setting up their franchise for years. Elijah on the pass to Gasol. It's tipped. So first quarter just over a minute and a half in. Driving to the basket. O'Neal passes to McGrady. And it's Pippen in the corner. Trying to find Shaq. He's got it now. Some solid defense from Gasol. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. The kick out to Tatum. Nice ball moved by Boston. And being a... Oh, is seven feet tall. Duncan probably comes easily. D's going to have to do a better job of getting him off his spot. Rose dishes to McGrady. Back to Rose. Rejected by Gasol. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Gasol. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Terminenko, hands the shot with nobody near him. Yeah, and you gotta respect the size McGrady has. Easily seen over the defense there to spot the open man. Here's Elijah on. O'Neal with the rebound. Doctors leading by four. Bounce pass from Rose. Round against McGrady. the most ferocious dunkers we've ever seen. Shaq capable of bringing down the entire basket. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, you'll probably see more of it. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. And how about that? What a sensational finish. Yeah, you you got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. Once you get the height advantage from there, no need to mess around. Toronto, they've gone six of eight in the game so far. A very solid start for them. And here is Dermanenko. Back to Shaq. And Shaq with the slam. This is Shaq at his best, getting that deep position and then just muscling through. Tatum finds Gilgis Alexander. Down low, Elijah Wong. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Raptors leading by six. Pippen, the pass to O'Neal. 
And it's Pippen stepping it down. And how about O'Neal zipping passes over to his guys, using that height to find open teammates. Here's Tatum. It's blocked by Shaq. They retain possession. And he recovers it. Why Juwan, no luck. In Toronto, they've gone 8 of 10 shooting, coming out very strong. Rose surveying the D. It's stolen by McGrady. To the inside. Here's Shaq. And Shaq with the slam. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Here's the Raptors with the ball. They're on an 18 to 6 run. And stolen by Tatum. Here's Brown. Takes it inside. And really, Brown is astonishing when he takes it inside. The defense does not know what to do with him. Gilgis Alexander against Rose. A shot, no good. And so Gasol will bring it up for Boston. Eight point game. Shot and game clock separated by five. Tatum. Here's Elijah Wong. A shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. Love the selflessness. Tatum willing to give it up whenever he sees an open teammate. Elijah Wong with the puck. Two points. That one goes. O'Grady's got six points. Shaquille O'Neal getting it done for Toronto. Scoring, rebounding. He was all over the place during that quarter. They are riding his performance right now. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Raptors. Right now, it's their passing game. And it's been on point. Doing a great job of moving it around and getting the ball to their shooters. And I like the fact also that they are the ones that have forced the action. They've created a lot of offense by just attacking the rim. Toronto leading by eight. And one outstanding thing the Raptors do, Greg, they really protect the ball. Yeah, even when they're not playing their best, they don't give away games with mistakes. They force you to find other ways to beat them. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. The talented wing pair of Brown and Tatum. Powell Gasol is out there with Elijah Wong. And it's Gilgis Alexander in at the point. His form could have been much better seeing how much time he had to shoot that one. But he got it to fall. Allen outside. A three-pointer off the mark. Celtics trail by six. And Powell Gasol, the bucket on the assist by Brown. And you know, it's always great to have a big that can handle the rock. What concentration on the dribble there by the seven-footer. Lillard attacking, and Damian Lillard with the jam. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. And here's Brown outside. It's rebounded by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Toronto leading by six. Garnett with it. Oh! oh. KG, he can fly with the best of them. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. And it's Pope missing. Celtics trail by six. Nice ball movement by Boston. The three from Tatum. Take that! Oh, Tatum! From the parking lot. This is why Tatum is a volume three-point shooter because he knows how accurate he can be. And it's slammed in by Garnett. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. 
And out of bounds as Toronto gains possession. You know, that, that's one of those passes where you just say, uh-oh, as soon as it leaves your hand. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Lillard, the pass to Abdul Jabbar. Here's Butler, and it's Butler with the jam. And I feel like Jokic has 360 degree vision. I mean, no matter where the open man is, he's going to find him. Hope the pass to Lillard. And again, no good by Toronto. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Anadokounmpo kicks to LeBron. Jokic sets the screen for James. Kicks it out to Garnett. And it's Jokic missing. Raptors leading by three. And Garnett with the slam. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Here's Jokic. And that's rejected by Abdul Jabbar. The Raptors have gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Steve, there's a whole lot of young talent throughout the NBA, but which players to you stand out above the rest? Kevin, there's the obvious ones like Luka Doncic, Jason Tatum, SGA, John Moran, and Anthony Edwards. They are consistently growing as players. I am keeping my eye on a guy like Evan Mobley. He could be an all-time great defender. Celtics trail by seven. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Well, Kevin, Jason Tatum said his quiet demeanor may belie his hunger to win for some people. He said, I feel like sometimes I come off so laid back that I don't know if people understand how much I invest into this game, how much I care, how hard I work, because I'm not the loudest or may show everything. Kevin? You know, his passion, D.A., for the game is right there. We appreciate your story. He's a tear in the open court. Butler can beat you with power or finesse. It doesn't matter. And Kareem throws it down. Nice job. Those passes have to be right on the money around the painted area. To the paint, here's LeBron. 17-foot shot on the way. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Well, not only can Jokic get some steals, but he's such a great passer. He gets the break going with the quick outlet. And James throws it down hard. What a dribble move by LeBron. All you can do is sit back and admire it. Lillard, the pass to Garnett, and Toronto turns it over again. Yeah, just not on the same page. Unfortunate, wasted possession. For Boston, they've gone 8 of 13 in the second quarter, well above the 50% mark from the field. Here's Garnett, and it's slammed in by Garnett. Such an intelligent playmaker. LeBron spots the openings and exploits them. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Lillard from outside. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Boston's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. James finds Jokic. James in the high post. And Jokic slams it in. Oh, Jokic with attitude there. Love it. Here's Garnett. And no good in the last second attempt this time. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Celtics out in front. They're up by two. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Jimmy Butler. Jimmy, you have come a long way in this league. When you look Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break.
if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Hakeem Olajuwon with a strong contribution so far in this one. And he was an absolute monster on the offensive glass in that first half. I don't know how you slow him down. Basketball 101. You've got to put a body on him. Unfortunately, that's a fundamental that's gone by the wayside. Abdul Jabbar is out there with Garnett. Then it's Allen. Then it's Damian Lillard. And it's Pope in it, the small folk. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Lillard misses. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. And for Jimmy Butler, he's the type of player we know, Steve, that fills in the gaps wherever his team needs it. Kevin, he's often the top scorer, defender, and playmaker for his team. His desire to win is unmatched. Jimmy Butler might be the most overlooked superstar in this league. And the Raptors going out now with a whole new group. And then for Boston, Anthony Davis. He's checked in for Jokic. Gilgis Alexander comes in for Jimmy Butler. And Gilbert Arenas subbed in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Love the aggressiveness, the tenacity of Derrick Rose. Love driving the basketball into the teeth of the defense. Kicks it out to James. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Inside, here's Termenenko. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Love it when Rose looks to share the ball, especially when his teammates are open like that. To the middle, here's Garnett. And it's Garnett finishing it off. Oh, and he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Rose against Arenas. Back to Dermanenko. Inside. Pippen kicks to McGrady. And James pulls it down. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Garnett in the post. Defended by Shen. And Garnett gets it to go on the assist by Arenas. And you can tell uh, Arenas just has that ability as a distributor. He can pick out the ready shooter and get them the rock. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Here's LeBron in the dunk by James. You can't give a steamroller like LeBron that kind of opening. He'll bury you every time. McGrady outside. A three-pointer is right on target. McGrady's got nine. Woo! He got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Kicks it out to James. Celtics passing it around, and it's slammed in by Davis. That's what you like to see from the big fella, Anthony Davis, with the power finish. If we look at the Raptors, Smitty, it has not been easy replicating the success they had back in 2019. Yeah, Toronto's had a bit of a roller coaster ride since then. They've had some good seasons, but the consistency hasn't been there for them. And he jumped out to that ball immediately. Great reaction on that deflection. A little bit late there, but you tried to get into your opponent's head, forced them to go somewhere else with the ball, and he did that. And the Raptors with the ball. Here's McGrady, and the Raptors hit again from deep. And, and how about getting a hand up on McGrady, especially when he's looking to shoot from the outside? Kicks it out to Garnett. Poked away. And Garnett with the slam. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Rose plays it up and banks it in. Rose has got six points in the quarter. And this is who Rose is. This guy's a warrior, never backing down from an aggressive defense. To the paint. Here's Garnett. And Garnett with the slam. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. You know what it is? It's his creativity. That's making this engine run. Here's Rose. And again, it's Toronto converting. Just a gorgeous looking jump shot from Derrick Rose. He is very smart when to take that and when not to take it. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. And the pass to Arenas. 
Garnett with a screen on Rose. And here's Arenas outside. Toronto grabs the miss. We've got 118 left in the third. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics are playing with a high level of motivation. All-star Jason Tatum says what we talk about before the game at halftime is win by any cost, by any means. Figure it out, win the game, and build great habits along the way. Kevin? Still room to grow. David, thanks. And that's a foul called on Shane Gilgis Alexander. That's his first foul. And a new group in for the Celtics. Elijah Wan's checked in for Anthony Davis. Saul comes in for Garnett. Tatum is checked in for James. And it's Brown in for Gilbert Arenas. You gotta love seeing McGrady when he's hot. An amazing score from any spot on the floor. Gilgis Alexander finds Elijah Wan. Gasol passes to Elijah Wan. Stolen by Rose. The shot and game clock separated by four. Here's O'Neal. Pass to Dermanenko. Rebounded by the Celtics. Elijah Wan's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Passes it to Gasol. He feeds it to Elijah Wan. Elijah Wan with a screen for Gilgis Alexander. But shots continuing to fall as we conclude the third quarter. Both teams putting up points. Raptors lead by four. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. The talented wing pair of Brown and Tatum. Elijah is out there with Gasol. And it's Arenas in at the point guard. Here's Pippen. And Tatum pulls it down. Doesn't register as a block, but he did everything you want defending that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. Shaq passes to Pippen. Pats in, coming off the assist from O'Neal. And the Raptors lead by two. Yeah, Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard him down low. And Gasol with the dunk. Go into the rack with energy and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. In a close game like this, everything has to be challenged and everything has to be earned. Pippen kicks to Rose. Back to Pippen. Rebound Boston. Outside Arenas. And here's Tatum for three. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Pass to Dermanenko. Here's Shaq. Sweet moves. And finished off by O'Neal. You see his link, the explosion, making sure of that. Brown inside the line. O'Neal with the rebound. And so it's Rose bringing it up for the Toronto Raptors. The lead is two. Pippen with a wide open look. Connects from three point range. Pippen's got five points in the quarter. On deep, Arenas, and the three ball is good. And such creativity from Arenas. Some of the ball handling moves he pulls out are just unguardable. O'Neal drives in, and Shaq with the slam. And some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. And 
the jumper from Arenas. Nice finish there. He is an aggressive scorer, especially off the dribble. Oh, oh, here he comes. Oh, that was amazing. And look Woo. at the elevation. Incredible. D. Rose still with great lift. Breaks out a dunk. He's probably been working on for a while. Pippen down low. Tatum on him. Good work defensively by Arenas. This one for three. Down low. And then Elijah Wan with the dunk. How about the killer cool of Elijah Wan? Loves to put the team on his back when the game gets tight. It's Pippen on the way. Let's it go from deep. Rebound Boston. Elijah Wan dishes to Tatum. Ah, here comes Tatum! And how about that show of confidence from Tatum? He really excels at playing above the rim and taking that one home. And it's Rose penetrating. A kick out to O'Neal. Back to Pippen. That's in, coming off the assist from O'Neal. Shaq's got his fifth assist in this one. To the inside, the song. O'Neal with the defensive effort. Raptors with the lead. Pass to Dermot Anker. And the jump to finish it off. A oh, beauty. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. They get the rebound. Runners on one of them from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. Uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. So Boston ends up going with a new group. No moment is too big for Dane. He specializes in hitting timely shots. Jokic passes to Ryan Kumbo. Outside Butler. Kicks it out to James. A free ball. It's good! And he has brought them to within two points. He lives for moments like this because he wants to be the guy to hit the clutch shot. Lillard attacking. Has to vote. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Six on the shot clock. Allen with it. Now defended by Jokic. Lillard, the pass to Abdul Jabbar. Good! Big-time basket at a big-time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Defense, what defense? Jimmy Butler was determined to knock that one down. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. Well, credit them for maintaining that aggression, even being up this much. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. The pass to Pope. And so the big win by Toronto in a tight game. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Damian, it looks like this team's progress can be measured by your improvement at the defensive end. Do we see that tonight? Um, we, we made some mistakes. Thanks so much, David. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.